Welcome to Chilled Out Game Reviews. If you're looking for a relaxing game to play to de-stress, you've come to the right place. In Wilmot's Warehouse, you run a warehouse and need to organise your stock so that you can deliver orders to your customers with peak efficiency. There is very little story to speak of. You are Wilmot, a warehouse worker at a facility that stores boxes with images on them. The game gives you no directions on where to put things or how to categorise them. That's entirely up to you. This can result in a very different experience for each player, as one way of organising things may seem incredibly strange and convoluted to someone else. Forget Animal Crossing Island tours, it's all about the warehouse tours on this channel. So, here's where I keep my dots, subdivided by number of dots to make life easier of course. Here we have toys and games, chess gets its own section for now, but if I need space later, it might get demoted. Miscellaneous light sources, don't question the pipe, I had my reasons. And this is organs. Look, it's my game and I think they look like lungs and that's entirely- The game plays in stages. First you will receive a delivery and have a few minutes on the clock to put these new items away so you can find them later as you need them. Once this time runs out, you'll need to run around and fulfil orders from customers. The faster you do this, the more stars you will earn, which can be used later to unlock abilities like the dash, carrying more items at a time, or removing the pillars to have more space. I'm not going to lie, this can get a little hectic, especially when you have more and more different items to keep track of. However, every few times around this cycle of time stages, there is a stock take. There is no time limit here, and you can reorganise and tidy up as much as you need before proceeding. Once I realised that I didn't have to put everything away perfectly in each delivery stage, I relaxed a lot more, dropping off items from the same category near the organised bays and putting them away properly once I got to stock tick. It didn't completely negate the time pressure, but it certainly prevented me from getting too flustered. Visually, I absolutely love this game. The stylish black and white visuals really pop, and I love how the details on each item fade in as you get closer to them. It's a great method to give you a large enough field of view to navigate the space, without showing you where everything is at too great a distance. It just has so much style, which really shines through with the sound design too. Subtle audio cues let you know that your time is almost up, without being too in your face and stress inducing. The little victory noises when you complete the customer's orders are very satisfying, as are the sounds that accompany picking up and putting down boxes. I have absolutely loved playing Wilmot's Warehouse. I'm the sort of person who really enjoys organising things, and I've had a lot of fun reworking my warehouse to fit new items in and allow me enough space to move around when I'm grabbing boxes in a hurry. It does start to get a bit more intense once you have more than 70 or 80 items to keep track of though. I've not made it to the full 200 yet, but I imagine that the time limits in the later game will really put the pressure on. I enjoy the challenge, but it does take the relaxation element away just a bit. I think Wilmot's Warehouse is a fantastic game that I will highly recommend, but I can't give it the chill out seal of approval. Thank you so much for watching. As always, thank you to my patrons over on Patreon and everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you've enjoyed this review, then here's a few other videos you might like, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future chilled out game reviews.